Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Kensuke Kuike. And you'll see in Photopia I've already opened up a photograph of myself. And I'm just going to go Image Adjustments Black and White and click OK to turn that black and white. And go Image Adjustments Color Balance and bring up the red and bring down the blue just to give my um, photo a bit more of a vintage feel. Okay, now I'm going to go to View, Add Guides, make sure I've got it on percent and put 50 and 50 in the horizontal and vertical bits and that gives me two lines and I'm then going to use the arrow tool to just move those lines to a point in the photograph that I want my effect to spin from. Okay, so I'm putting that basically in the middle of my face. Okay, on Google I found this right angle triangle image. I'm just going to magic wand the middle, press Control C to copy that, go back to my original photo, press Control V to paste that in, and then I'm going to move it and resize it using the arrow tool and the shift key to keep it the same shape, and place it where the two guides cross. Okay, then I'm going to right click, duplicate the layer and move the handle in the middle to the middle of the guides and then spin that shape round. I'm then going to select both those layers and merge layers. And then I'm going to use the magic wand tool to select the layers, make them invisible, go back to my photo, press Ctrl C and then control V and as you can see that has created that shape on its own layer. Okay, then we go back to the shapes again and we use the arrow tool and the shift key to spin them around a bit and then the magic wand again to select them. Back to the original photo, press control C, control V and that's got those shapes onto their own layer. And then we do the same again, arrow tool to rotate, magic wand to select, back to the photo, control C to copy, control V to paste. And then we repeat again, moving the shape, getting the magic wand tool to select it, going back to the photo, control C, control V to paste that onto its own layer. So I now have that shape four times in four different rotations. Okay, I can make the original shapes invisible now, and I can begin using the arrow tool to spin these other shapes, the other layers, to different points, depending on where I want them to be. Okay. And if you, as long as you're pressing shift, they'll go to right angles very easily. There we go. And that is it. That's how to really achieve this effect. But we're going to do a couple more things just to polish it up. Okay. First thing we're going to do is get rid of the guides. So we're going to go to view and clear guides because we don't need them anymore. And then we're going to go to the top layer of the photo bits and we're going to double click on it and we're going to choose inner glow okay and we're going to make sure that we've got black as our color on the color picker click OK and then we're going to make sure we've got normal selected and we're going to mess around with the size just so we can see it and then bring the opacity right down so it's a very subtle inner glow we don't want it to be too dark click OK and then right click on that layer go to layer style and copy and then choose the other three layers and right click layer style and paste and that puts the same inner glow on all the other bits okay and that just makes them stand out a little bit more makes it more clear um, that they're separate from the original photo okay we can then select all four of those layers, right click and merge them together with merge layers and then get the arrow tool and just rotate it one little bit 
and that makes the image more like Kensuke Kueke's piece of work. And that is this piece of work done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.